y'all i'm Rhonda, and welcome back to our little kitchen i don't know about y'all but lord me and james russell we love us some breakfast right absolutely love us some breakfast and y'all see i have got this uh big old pan of buttermilk biscuits ready to go man they look delicious they are delicious and um i'm going to show y'all an old old-fashioned recipe for some tomato gravy now uh mine might be a little different than what your grandmas and your mamas have taught y'all to do um i was taught years ago by um my mama i um call her mama so mama taught me this recipe years ago i was fortunate enough to um, have some good women in my life that shared some excellent recipes to pass down. And um, this is one that I'm gonna be sharing with y'all today. So we got the biscuits ready. Um, I'm gonna jump back here and uh, start my little tomato gravy, y'all. If you have not had this, it is a treat. Um, not, not many uh, ingredients in it. Um, it was something they cooked uh whipped up for the family the fed their family years ago that um that was plentiful it didn't cost much so it's budget friendly on top of it so uh, let's get this gravy going all right y'all i got me some bacon um i've got five slices of bacon in here and um i know y'all know how to fry bacon but um, i'm just showing you that uh, i'm frying this bacon in order to get this bacon grease because it's going to be an important part of our tomato gravy now you don't have to you don't have to fry you know bacon if you don't want to if you got you some bacon up or some bacon grease in the refrigerator whatever um you can use that you don't have to uh, start off with the bacon but um, the one thing that Mama did is she always put bacon back into her tomato gravy. So I'm going to show y'all and do it like Mama did it because I'm telling you what, this is some good stuff. And um, you listen, treat yourself. It's, it's always better with it's bacon. It's good, yeah, better. Yes, bacon makes it better. That's right. But um, if you don't want to try, you know, bacon, you can skip this step. But um, I'm. Like I said, I'm going to show you a lot Man Man showed me. So I'm just going to get this fried up crispy and um, I'll come back when we just have the, the bacon grease ready to start that tomato gravy. Okay, y'all got my bacon all fried up. She's crispy. And I've got about a half a cup of Vidalia onion here. Um, I'm just going to go right on in here and maybe not. Maybe I don't need that much. You just uh, leave with your heart. You use however much you want to use. And we like to get by down your honey. I'm going to fry this just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a little. Give it a little salt. A little pepper. But uh, we'll keep we'll keep it tasting this when it's done for it. So no problem. A little black pepper in there. Smells good already. That onion's doing its thing, honey. Mm -hmm. I done spattered stuff all over the stove. We just got us a situation, but it don't matter. We're going to have us some good old gravy here yeah. shortly. Good old gravy. Now, I'm not going to let it cook too long. Um, I am now, I'll just tell you the ingredients I've got. I've got some chicken broth. You don't have to have it. It just adds extra flavor. I've got a little milk just for a little creaminess. Once again, you can just use water for all of this, and it's still going to be good. But um, I'm going to go in here with my flour, and I'm trying to be good. Uh, now, you want about the same amount of flour as you have your bacon grease. So I'm going to start with about three tablespoons of flour. That's really about what I have. And you want to stir this around. Because we're going to start making us a roux. Now, um, for all of you gravy makers that know, um, the longer you let this go, the darker it gets. For those that don't make gravy, the longer you let this go, the darker it gets, okay? <laughs> you learn in the day. Yes, you're going to learn today, all right? So, um, I'm just going to stir this around. And we're going to let this darken up just a little bit. And um, 
We also want to cook that flour taste out of it because you don't want it to taste like flour. So the longer you cook it, the more that flour cooks up in there and um, those onions will start to get tender, honey. Mm. They, they getting right, I'm telling you, they are getting right. So I'm just gonna stir this around, let this get um, to be about a peanut butter caramel color, something like that. Some people do this, uh, they dump their tomatoes in and all that stuff and then add a slurry with uh, the flour. But um, this is the way my man taught me to do it. So um, I'm showing you the way I know. I haven't had this recipe in so long now. I'm telling you, it was probably when my kids were little and um, somebody had made mention of it the other day and I said, oh, I am gonna, I am gonna do that recipe. So. And I have never had it. He's never had it. So this will be truly a treat for him, right. hopefully. I've never even heard of tomato gravy. Exactly. My daddy may have, I don't know. I need to ask him to eat that for Yeah, this is, um, but this is a real popular dish here in South Carolina, North Carolina, uh, all over the place, really. I'm not gonna say just around in the Carolinas. But um, my mama used to say that uh, she, her mom died when she was young and she had to take on the responsibility at a very young age of cooking for her brothers and her dad. So they'd come in out of the fields and, and she'd have to have their, their little dishes ready. And she said, uh, you know, it was, it was hard for her as a little girl to try to, to feed them, you know, cause she was, she was still just a young girl. And um, she said this was one that she could just whip right up and everybody enjoyed it. See how it's starting to get a little darker? I should have did it in my little cast iron, but I didn't. This is good too. Real good stuff. It smells good. It is, it already smells good. And I've got me, um, now you can use chicken broth. Um, this is mine. I got it mixed around here. Um, like I said, you don't have to have the meal for the chicken broth. This is just, uh, you know, me being extra. This is how I was taught to do it. A little it, bit so. more flavor. Ain't A little bit more flavor, it really is. Um, but I'm sure even with water, it's simple. And that's what Mama said. She said once she got older, she started using the chicken broth and the milk. She said but they had very, very little growing up. So she said uh, water is what they always did. And um, I'm using some diced tomatoes out of a can. She said uh, she just used, they would pick them out of the garden and use them right out of the garden. So um, uh, you can do that as well if you've got some nice tomatoes coming in. Y'all, our tomatoes is out there just beautiful as they can be, but they still green and they still need a little love. So I can tomatoes it is. All right, I'm just gonna cook this down just a little bit more. It's starting to starting to turn. We want to definitely cook that flour taste out of it. It's starting to darken up just a little bit. It just takes time. Alright. Oh, I can tell you how good that smells. It smells good, now. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna um, go ahead and add some of my. I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes. Just I've got diced tomatoes. Look at that. Easy peasy. And I'm gonna go ahead in there with my chicken stock. And um, I've got three cups, so I'm trying to be good. I'm gonna start off with about a cup. Let's see. Yep, that's about a cup. I may not use all of this, but um, we'll see. We'll see where we're at. Just wanna keep it going. Keep it stirred up. Those onions are cooking in there. Mm. Don't it look good? It does. So good. We don't want no lumps. All we want is those uh, tender little onions and this tomato. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. I might go ahead and add about another half a cup in there. Yep, that's exactly one and a half cups. So we'll see where it's at. Now I'm just gonna let this simmer for a little bit and um, see where we're at. 
All right, y'all, she's thickening up, doing what it's supposed to do. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. That's just gonna add some creaminess to it. And um, I'm gonna put probably about, I'm gonna put about a cup in here of just whole milk. Look how creamy that is. And one more thing I'm gonna add to it. Move this out of the way. One more thing, I'm gonna add a little ketchup. Some people add some tomato paste, but um, this ketchup brings it, it just takes it to another level. And um, I'm gonna put about a half a cup of ketchup in there. That sweetness, just that little bit of sweetness in there, oh my goodness, it makes it so good. So you got your creaminess, your sweetness, your salty little tomatoes, tender onions, and then, if that ain't good enough, we're going to crumble that bacon back in here. Mm, next so level. So good. So good. You see how quick it was to do it. Really, really easy. Got my biscuits ready for this gravy, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. They are hot and ready. We're going to have us a, a good, good little brunch. Yeah. Like I said, we love breakfast, and I don't care what time it is with that we have breakfast. We love eating uh, breakfast for supper. Right. We do. We do a lot. Listen, some good old grits and eggs and whatever else. Honey, I'm a happy girl. All right. I'm going to add this bacon back in here, crumble it back up. I'm going to just crumble it just like so. Uh-oh. Some of it's jumping back in the pan. Crumble, crumble, little pieces. I'm gonna get those big ones out. Give it a little, give it a little crunch. And that looks. It, it smells does. delicious. Let's see. Where's my little? I got a little spoon. I'll just crunch them up in there. All right, y'all. I am going to wash my hands and. Let this simmer for just a few minutes and we're going to come back and uh, Russell's going to tell you just how good it is or uh, maybe I not. Wait. I can't wait. Maybe I'm not. It might, might wait. not be for him. Who I'm knows? I'm excited about it. All right. All right, y'all. It has been about 15 minutes and uh, this gravy is ready to go. It's, uh, I'm excited for Russell to try and tell me what he thinks about it. I know it's good, but um, you know, come on, Russell. Right. You never know what he's gonna think about stuff. Well, I give my honest opinion, y'all. Y'all, the ones who know me, at watch. No, I, I tell it how it is. Uh, I never heard of this. I don't think I may have heard of it a long time ago, but I know I've never ate it. Um, I'm gonna have to do some research on if my peeps have have had it or not, but. Uh, we was talking about what we was going to do this week, and she came across this and said, hey, I ain't made that in forever, so yeah. we're going to give it a go, y'all. Tomato gravy over a good old hot pipe and hot biscuit. Hot biscuit. Mm -hmm. you know, I he never little... knows what I'm going to throw at him. He you don't... know i got to get a little piece of that Get you some bacon, there. honey. Treat you... Listen, get a little bit of it all. Yeah. <clears throat> don't cheat yourself, man. biscuit's so flaky, it's going to be hard to keep it together. Yeah, that just Ooh. buttery and crispy on the bottom. What you think? Belinda. <laughs> that thing are looking good, y'all. Let me tell you, that's amazing. Mm. You really taste I'm that bacon? I'm telling you, that, it, it, it's really, it pairs really well together. It does. And listen, if you got somebody that don't really um, like tomatoes, you could totally do this with um, tomato sauce or um, if they don't like the chunks and um, fool them. Because I'm telling you, the taste is good. Yeah, it, if you don't see them tomatoes, you might even go, no. And you onions, too, know. for that matter. Mm -hmm. You really can't see onion in it, either, yes. to be honest. Um, y'all, I'm going to tell you, i got to go back for another bite. Good that, stuff, that's good stuff, y'all. We're going to have this more. I'm I'm a little disappointed I haven't been doing it all these years. I didn't make it. This, you know how you just think about... Or you forget about the recipes that you used to make, and it'll just come to you sometimes. Hey, we had not had that in forever. That is delicious. Forever. You, very good. And there ain't a whole lot in that, y'all. It's talking not about, simple. You know, cost of food and stuff like that. You feed a lot of people with that. 
But that, I mean, that's a nice size. It is. Uh, pan of gravy there. And biscuits you know? aren't really that expensive um, mm -hmm. to do either. So yeah. you can do this all kind of ways. Yeah. That's all good. Kind of Y'all give us this a winner. Give it a it's try. Good. It's uh, very it's, good. It is. And um, like you said, budget friendly, mm -hmm. quick and easy. This is something, like I said, we like breakfast for supper. Something we can whip up in no time. Have it, Absolutely. Have it for supper. Good old country supper, y'all. I must say, she uh, said use that bacon grease. Put that bacon in there, y'all. It makes a difference. I'll tell you, that's a delicious. It is, uh, man. Mm. Mm -hmm. Give this one a try. That's yeah. all I'd say about don't, that. Um, don't skimp and use your vegetable oil on this or your olive oil or whatever. Really, that bacon gives it good flavor. Even if you don't fry the bacon, use the bacon. Get you a little bacon grease. Everybody needs a little bacon grease. Amen. Anyway, it helps your wrinkles. No. <laughs> yeah. uh, all kind of good stuff. People say, uh, you don't have any wrinkles and you're 52. What you been doing? I said, I guess it's just a fat. <laughs> Lots of good fats, uh, I suppose. But um, this is a good one, y'all. Try it. I want to say thank you so much to all of our new people. Yeah, we appreciate it. Big, Welcome. big hugs and love Yeah, to we love the comments. Just somebody new that yes. just discovered us. It makes us... Uh, you know, you know, just feel warm and yeah, fuzzy. It does. just does our heart good. It makes a smile. But um, thank y'all so much, so much for all your support. Um, if you haven't subscribed, you know, if you want to do it. Yeah, it don't cost you nothing. It really helps us out if you do. Um, if you hit the little notification, it'll tell you when we put videos out. We try to stay pretty consistent with that, but sometimes it's not often doable. We have to change things up. So if you hit the little bell, It'll He'll send you a notification. So. Yep. And another thing, all of my uh, recipes is in the description. You just hit the little more button and it just drops down like magic and uh, it's there. So yep. uh, you can print it, you can copy, you can paste, you can whatever. You can share it in your Facebook, whatever you want to do, honey. That's right. It's fine. Yep. But anyway, thank y'all so much. And until next time, peace.